All right, Pisces viewers. So last reading I did, I got that either you or somebody else was wanting to take things slowly and do it right this time around. Like they didn't want to rush into anything. Again, that could have been your, your energy or theirs, um, however it resonates with you. But today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, and what actions they might be taking towards you next based on their current energy. So let's see what's going on, Pisces. Okay. Pisces, what do you need to know about your love life right now? It's clear direct messages only. Clear and direct messages. What do you need to know about your love life? You need to know about your love life. Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Star, Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups, not Nine of Cups, uh, Two of Wands, Five of Cups, Three of Swords, Angel de la Note. Okay, it's interesting energy. I feel like this is probably referencing your past more than your present. I almost think this energy is like warning you not to go back to an old pattern that you used to have. I think either you took too long to tell somebody how you felt and they just kind of gave up and walk, walked away or um, it was, you know, vice versa, where it's like they took too long to tell you how they felt and you kind of just, you know, let it go and you gave up on it because you were tired of not knowing how they felt about you and you got tired. Somebody was just tired. I don't know who. I think there's a couple different groups that I, I think this happened last Pisces reading too, that there was a couple different groups that I read um, when I channel the Pisces videos. But um, yeah, somebody got tired of waiting. Somebody just got tired of waiting and they said, screw it. But it's like, it's sad because that energy, you guys were both on the same page. Like, you both wanted each other. You both cared about each other. But I think somebody was, like, kind of playing, either you or them. Somebody was playing games and kind of waiting it out and testing the waters and maybe playing a little hard to get. And somebody else was like, screw it. This is wish-washy. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, the energy I kind of got here is, like, somebody hitting you up when they're bored and lonely. Um, but like not being able to like actually tell you how they feel about you straight up, you know what I mean? It's like you'll get like a drunk text or something or they'll hit you up when they're bored or it's like they just somebody or you hit them up either way. Somebody just did not really feel appreciated. Somebody kind of just felt like old reliable over here. Okay, so there's two different stories. God, you're, I don't know what, what it is with the Pisces, but your readings always get complicated for me. Um, it's good, though. It's good. Um, it's not bad energy. I know it looks like it's bad energy. It's not. It, it really isn't because um, it's mostly talking about you. There is, there is, there is somebody else here, though, that, that there is a relationship here that I'm seeing. But, um, but the, you know, this is what you've been through, I feel. I don't think that this is something, I don't feel like this is something that's going to happen in your future is what I'm saying. I think this is something that already happened. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. I know people freak out when they see the Three of Swords. Okay, so two separate stories here. Um, for some of you, this is, you know, someone who hits you up when they're bored and lonely or who was hitting you up when they're bored or lonely. And they kind of just couldn't confess their real feelings. You know what I mean? It's like they would message you, but you never knew how they felt about you because it's like their pride would get in the way. But they really were hoping and planting seeds and wanting to be with you. Um, but somebody was just playing hard to get. So this is, again, this is either you were playing hard to get or they were playing hard to get. Somebody was just playing hard to get. And, um, you know, they were playing hard to get, but they were hoping and dreaming that this relationship would work at the same time. Like... They were really emotionally vulnerable um, with this other person, like 
when they're by themselves or when they're dreaming or like sleeping or whatever it's like they they would think about you they would miss you or you would miss them however it plays out again it could be roles could be reversed so it's whatever resonates with you but this person would like it's like they would dream and they would they would miss you that energy they would they would want that love but they weren't showing it um and with the Nine of Cups there, they were just kind of waiting. Like, they were just kind of playing hard to get and, and expecting this to come. And, you know, with the Two of Wands here, it's like they wanted long term. They wanted, like, a balance. But they just, they took too long and they weren't expressing how they felt. So somebody left. With the Five of Cups here, somebody left. And, um, yeah, somebody just got said, screw it. I'm tired of not, I'm tired of the games. I'm tired of not knowing how you feel. I'm leaving. And this other person was left heartbroken. But with the Angel de la Nue here, it's like, um, it's like the, the light after the darkness. It's, it's like a, a, you know, the new sunrise, basically. It's, um, you know, there's a period of darkness, but there is something new and better coming in. And for this group, I kind of feel like this person might actually end up coming back around and like explaining things or apologizing because there was like there was love there but there was just miscommunication you guys were both so stubborn and you were both playing hard to get and you were both playing these games um and and yeah it just it it just led to miscommunication and again it's just so sad because you guys were on the same page um for the second group that I'm channeling, I kind of feel this would be the group that I channeled the last reading I did, which was like a week or two ago. And I said that, you know, you were talking to somebody or dating somebody um, and you like one or both of you was wanting to take it slow and kind of just, you know, not dive in and have it be passionate and lusty and then burn out in a month or two. You wanted to really be friends first and take it slow and get to know each other and see what happens. And... Um, And for that group, I kind of feel like it's, it's warning you, like, not to be in a pattern where you just want what you can't have or you want to. It's like somebody who, like, gets bored um, with when things are too simple and they need to play these games and they need to play hard to get and, like, they sabotage things. And, like, if things are too good, they're kind of, like, it's just, like, this energy of, like, game playing. And it's, like, it's kind of, like, warning you, like, to take things slow and get to know each other and to try to have a healthy relationship and try not to like play the games. I think maybe you're, it's a warning not to play games, but it's also, it's also almost like maybe like you're waiting too much. You know what I mean? It's like, you're trying to take it slow. So you're like not putting yourself out there enough in a way. And it's like coming off as like game playing to them. If that makes sense. If that's, if that's, you know, if you're, if you resonated well with the previous reading, I almost feel like it's like that energy where it's kind of like, you're hoping and waiting and you're trying to take it slow and do things right with this person. You don't want to do it the same way you did it before and dive into something. But I almost wonder if you're taking it too slow because it's kind of like you're just waiting here and you're just like contemplating and you're thinking about it and you're like waiting for them to come to you. But they might end up just like letting you go because they might end up thinking that, that they don't mean that much to you. It's almost like you're over, you're not balanced. It's like you're overdoing it with a certain energy. If this is your reading, I think. And that's what I'm getting from this. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like a warning to like not, um, you know, not break your own heart, not accidentally sabotage yourself. It's almost like subconsciously sabotaging yourself. It's almost like this relationship is too stable, I feel. And it's like you kind of get bored when it's stable. So it's like you're... Because it's like two different energies here, and I'm trying to understand how they go together, or if it's two different... Again, another different story on top of the oh, confusion. <laughs> um, but it's almost like, yeah, it's like subconscious self-sabotage. And it's like almost like you're being distant and you're playing these games, but you're, and it's kind of out of boredom. It's kind of out of like, you're not used to this energy. Um, but it's, and like, you're telling yourself that it, it, that it's just, you know, you, oh, you're trying to take it slow, but to them, it doesn't seem like taking things slow. It seems like you're not completely emotionally available to them. So it's warning you not to get in that pattern, not to, not to sabotage yourself, not to get your own heart broken. And then for others of you, this is just, you know, like I said, this is a relationship where they were hitting you up when they're bored and lonely 
and somebody just too, took too long to get it together and somebody else walked away and got tired of not knowing where they stood and there was some heartbreak um but this person might be coming back around they might you know be thinking they might give it a second chance and a second thought and be thinking you know wait like maybe i need some answers maybe i need clarity or closure maybe i need to know how this person felt because you know what i never actually knew how they felt i just assumed it maybe i shouldn't have assumed even if they were playing hard to get maybe i shouldn't have assumed how they felt um because i didn't know we never talked about it we were never open about it so maybe i need to go back and and be open with it so i do sense i sense love you know whether it's that person i channeled or it's it's somebody else that you had this kind of energy with that's coming back around it's two different groups here so it's whatever resonates with you whatever your story is um let's see if i can get anything else on this connection okay what else can you tell me about this connection right Pisces, what else is there to know about this connection? Anything to clarify? Anything that we need to look into? Understanding, lust, hmm. fragment, love. Letting go, the fledgling, obedience. Yeah, it's just kind of clarifying what we talked about. So, so whether it's you or them, it's just some one of you took things too slowly. One of you played hard to get. One of you kind of just made assumptions and thought that the other one knew how you know they felt and then knew that there was love there, you know, and those assumptions just led to, you know, it was like you snooze, you lose kind of energy. Somebody just eventually was tired of not knowing and they walked away. Um, but whoever it is, whether it's you or them, either you're coming back, to, either you're going back to them and reaching to, out to them for clarity or they're coming back to you and, and giving it a second chance and reaching out to you for clarity and saying, you know, hey, I probably should have like, they want to know how you feel, you know what I mean? They don't want to just assume, you know what I mean? Because they assumed in the past. They're like, oh, yeah, he or she must not care about me since they're never around or they're not or they're playing hard to get or they're, they just, they misunderstood. Someone just misunder, someone was playing hard to get and the other person just mi completely misunderstood that energy and, and just thought that the person didn't care. And, and so they just felt heartbroken and they, they gave up on it. Um. You know, somebody is coming to a deeper understanding. Finally, they thought that the relationship was just lust. They thought it wasn't a whole relationship. They thought it was just like lust and seduction or just temporary. They thought it was like fragmented, like it wasn't like full. But the truth is actually it was, it was love. It was, it was something real and solid. It was, it was love. Um, but you know, they, they just, they were, they didn't understand and they let it go. And, um, with the fledgling here, it's like a new start. It's like they're realizing that they were blind to something, that they had their eyes closed to something. There was just something there that they weren't seeing. So one or both of you is giving this a second chance and coming back around and saying like, hey, like I want to know honestly how you feel about me. I don't want to just assume. I don't want to let my pride and fear and ego get in the way. I don't want to just you know, not talk to you and just assume that you don't care when in reality maybe you're busy and you do want to reach out, but there's just something stopping you or maybe you know because again this person was playing hard to get this person wasn't necessarily busy whether it's you or them they were they were just trying to get you to come to them and it, it's like it was like both like i think it goes both ways it's like they were kind of waiting for you you were kind of waiting for them and someone just got tired of waiting um but with the fledgling here and the obedience card it's like somebody is recognizing that they were blind to the connection that they were not realizing how deep and how real the connection really is and um they were out of balance you know and they're taking that blindfold off and, and giving this a second chance and trying to communicate and trying to be honest and genuine. So um, if this is your reading, then no more playing hard to get. If that was you doing it, I, I would be a little bit more honest with this person. It doesn't mean that you have to rush into things. And for some of you, for a lot of you, cause again, I get two different groups. So for some of you, that's like somebody that you already broke up with. That's an ex that that, that happened with, that story happened with, and it's coming back around. For others of you, this is a continuation of the 
the story that I told about a week ago where it was like you're dating somebody and you're trying to take things slow and do it right this time, but it's almost like you're self-sabotaging and you're taking it too slow and you're being too distant and they're misunderstanding you. So you there's, there's a need for clarity on both sides right now. Um, and, and just open, honest communication. Like you can still take it slow, but you don't want to take it too slow. You don't want to, you don't want to like, if you have like a negative pattern, like with getting bored easily, like you don't want to tell yourself, oh, I'm just being, I'm just doing this and this and this because I'm trying to take it slow. It's like, no, it's, it's self-sabotage, you know? So you got to recognize that. Um, you got to own it and, and you got to communicate. You guys, you guys really have to communicate whoever this, whoever this is. Um, so yeah, please let me know if it resonates. Um, and if it does subscribe to me, thank you guys.